ready Cause this ain't funny My name, fame is Ian I'm about to make money It's me again, Amy from the Zula Mercantile. And today we're going to talk about some good things that I picked up this weekend while I was out there being a sorceress. I like using the word sorceress for my title instead of picker. It just sounds more fun. And I am indeed out there sourcing for my eBay and Poshmark stores. So this weekend, um, you might be able to tell from my voice, I'm getting over a cold. I was in the thick of it this weekend, so I really only had one day of sourcing, and it was freezing cold outside, so we only hit a few sales, but I did manage to get some good stuff. Uh, the first thing we're gonna, I'm going to show you is these cute, um, these are the McKinsey Brothers. Maybe you remember them, eh? But they, um, it's a whole set, and they come, okay, there's a whole bag of all these things. There's like cases of beer, there's their background, all their goodies, and they sit on these cute little platforms. And How's it going, eh? It's a jelly. <laughs> so they, they do talk. Um, the other one, I have two of them, one for each guy. And uh, that one just needs batteries, so I will test that one out as well. Uh, I paid $5 for that one. And the comps, uh, let's see, I had one that sold on an auction for $12.50 and another one that sold for $45. So I'm um, hoping to be on the higher end of that since I did spend $5 on them, but we will see how that goes. Uh, switching gears a little bit, I did pick up a couple of Hawaiian shirts. I got these two vintage Hawaiians for $5, so they were $2.50 each. Um, the first one we'll talk about here is this Hilo Hattie. Um, this one is actually, it's, it's on the older side. Um, I pick up Hilo Hattie a lot, but you can tell by the way this pocket is constructed that it is one of their older shirts, and it is on their black and white tag. Um, one very similar to this uh, did sell for $50 recently, so I am going to shoot for that with this one since it is a more special, um, older Hilo Hattie on that. And then the other one is a, what's it called? Go Barefoot, which I hadn't heard of before, and I didn't have a uh, signal, so I couldn't check the comps. But look how this one is here. The buttons don't go all the way down. It's a pullover, um, but still a cotton shirt and very well made. So I did um, pick that up just kind of on instinct thinking this is a really good one. And I probably will be able to get $25 for this one. Now, the next thing I got um, was this rusty box. There'll be a picture on one side or the other here. Really rusty, heavy box full of old metal, tiny, tiny, um, letterpress letters, <laughs> uh, like for an old Gutenberg press or something. So, and this was at the same sale as the shirt, so I didn't have a signal. They just looked really cool. Um, I remember back when I was in design school, we took a class on printing and I got to try you know, sticking them all in and, and doing the press work and everything. And so they just intrigued me. So I did take a gamble on those for $5 for this whole box. And um, like I said, it's really heavy, so there's a lot of them in there. I'm not sure if I will have the patience to like put them in alphabetical order or make them into a good presentation. Uh, what I think I might do is just weigh them out, maybe divvy it into two different piles and sell it kind of by the pound. Um, I can probably get $65 and up for that. I'm going to have to do some more research um, to really figure out what I'm going to do. But I think for $5, that one, that was a good, good, good pick. Yes. Now, <laughs> same sale again. This, this sale had a, a wide variety of things. Um, I got three... Mm -hmm. Um, three tiny vintage perfume bottles. Uh, first one here is the Coco Chanel Eau de Parfum. Uh, this one I can maybe get $15 to $20 for. Um, this it's actually they changed it and um, this is the vintage formula so maybe that will be a good thing to go on the, on the plus side for that. And this one is the Yves Saint Laurent Opium. Um, my mom used to wear this, so it uh, just kind of gave me some memories when I saw it. So I grabbed that one. That one also I might be able to get 24. And then this last one seems to be the prize winner here. Um, this is Andron by Jovan, and it is a quarter ounce, and it's a spray. Uh, <laughs> this one apparently is rare, so I'm glad that I picked it up. Um, I was kind of excited when I was able to finally look at some comps on that. Um, one of the, just like this, actually sold for a best offer down from $300. And then there is one right now listed um, for 700 and I didn't see anything else. So I'm definitely gonna do some more research on this one. I'm also definitely gonna put all of these in a Ziploc bag because I can smell them 
all the time now in my office and I don't want to, uh, but this, this is exciting. And I do want to give you a hot tip on that on eBay. You have to have a brand new bottle of perfume in order to sell it, or you can, um, you can get in trouble and they'll pull it. Uh, I, so if you, when you're looking at perfumes, just make sure that they are brand new. There was a whole bunch to choose from at this sale. So I only picked out the ones that were full. Um, because like I said, you could get in trouble from eBay and who wants to risk their account just for some perfume? Not me. Now, same sale again for $1. I got a deck of sealed Iraqi's most wanted playing cards. And you can say they say Michael on them, but I can get that off with just rubbing alcohol marker on plastic coating on things. You can just kind of wipe that off just with the, uh, paper towel and some rubbing alcohol. So I sold these about a year ago, um, a deck of them for 25. Um, looks like they're a little bit less now. I paid a dollar for this deck and the comps right now are anywhere from 10 to 20. So I'll still be fine on it. And I just, they were sealed so and I liked them. So I wanted to pick those up. Now, <laughs> this next thing here, it's a big one. Same sale again, this was $5. This is a Peruvian wall hanging. I'm gonna bring it up close here because so you can see that each of these llamas and the people, it's all three dimensional and there is so much detail on this thing. It's kind of big. So these, um, they are collectible. Um, they are made by craftsmen in Peru. This one with the llamas on it in particular and the fruits and the people. Um, has a lot more detail than the ones that I saw in the comps, um, but I had, did see that they were going anywhere from 30 to 50 and then up to 75. Um, there was one Christmas one that sold recently. It was in the shape of a Christmas tree and had all the 3D stuff on it. And that one um, sold for, I think, 150 bucks. So I'm glad I picked that up as well for $5. We will see what that does for me. And if anything, it's just like super interesting and I love finding really cool cultural things like that. So you can learn something at the same time. I think that's just a, a good bonus when you're reselling. Now, this here, <laughs> across the street from that epic sale with all the stuff, um, there was a smaller sale, so that's, you know, two for one for me. Um, I like that. And I did, I found these, um, these are pan optics with the case, um, the paperwork, and a cleaning cloth. And if you don't know about these glasses, um, people like to wear them when they're riding motorcycles. They do have foam on the inside to keep the air out so you don't get your eyes all dried out. And it also had the, uh, what do you call these? Kuroki? Leash? One of those things. So these were, um, they're actually marked $7, and I uh, asked for a deal because I did buy a jacket from them as well. Jacket was $30, and those glasses were seven, so I said, could you do 35 for both? And she said yes. So this is the jacket. It is a Harley Davidson black leather with these square studs. Very cool. And look on the sleeve, there's the Harley Davidson spell out. Nice detail there. And then I liked this on the back too. It has the Harley Davidson shield and it is metal. So it's like another stud detail on the back there. Snaps up. It is a women's small if you're interested. And uh, that one I did pay $30 for. And I was having trouble finding the exact style. So I'm not sure what that one's called. Hopefully I can figure that out because that's always helpful in your listing. Um, the leather feels really nice. Uh, the comps really for a Harley Davidson leather jacket um, could go from 100 up to 200 really. So I'm gonna price shoot for in the middle there and start mine at 140 and just see what happens. So that is all I got this weekend um, because, it, oh, you can hear my voice is starting to go, but um, <laughs> Uh, because I was sick and that happens in life. But the great thing about being a reseller and working for yourself is that um, you can take a sick day whenever you have to, or <laughs> I didn't necessarily want to, but I am glad that I got out there and I got some good things. So I got to get these listed and uh, hopefully we'll make some money today. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time and hopefully I will be feeling much better.